Hello, what's up? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> and welcome back to another episode. We'll call it Chats with Moms. I don't know with mom or just wife talk. But mom is back. I have begged and I've pleaded and hey. Whatever. Yeah, she keeps saying because I'm eating into her time. She's a very busy person. But thanks mom again for coming. And I know they'll appreciate it more. Mm -hmm. So I know that you asked for a part two, but we also want to cover as much ground as we possibly can. So we're going to be dealing with another topic today and try and go a little bit more lengthy in that one. And not just... <laughs> <laughs> Not, but not. I'm talking. I'm not talking two hours. I'm just talking. Try and cover as much as we possibly can. So I'll be asking questions, and then your answer. Happy? Depends. Yeah. Anything you want to say? Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, you <laughs> and and your friends. 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 All right. So we're gonna get started. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment below. You know the drill. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. And we're talking in-laws. Okay. I know when I first mentioned this to you, and I, you said, what are we going to talk about? It said in-laws in your life. You. But you are an in-law also. Mm -hmm. And you've been, and you've had a mom-in-law. So you definitely know how to navigate some of the things. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about leaving and cleaving in two, in a two-part question. So the first one will be financial. Mm -hmm. So we're getting married. You spoke about how now you are trying to form. You've spoken about forming a relationship, so we can move on from that. Uh, now we're getting married, or we're married, and this particular person had financial responsibilities then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in their home, whatever they decided to take on, whether it was water, electricity, maybe rent, I don't know. And now you're moving. Um, you have they have their own home and things to take care of. But you'll find oftentimes that the in-laws still want is in the or let me say are still expecting things done. Ending. How do you uh, how would you handle that? And maybe because you can obviously handle it from the perspective of being a wife and people will see how they can learn from that. But yeah, how do you do that? How do you handle that? I think it's a discussion is important for both of you, even before you get into it. Mm. Um, as you are courting, you discuss my responsibilities are this, yours are this. I knew very well that Nico was responsible as a breadwinner at home. He had a, a younger brother mm. and a sister. The younger brother was just working and the younger sister wasn't. She mm. was still at school. So there were a lot of things that he was doing for the oh, parents. Um, but they knew that he was getting married and he would have his responsibilities. But what has helped us was to discuss prior to anything mm. that if there are things that you needed to do, you need to let me uh, know because where I come from, my parents were okay. Mm. You know, my father was still working, my mother was working, so they were strong financially, they were okay. So I then said, um, from your side, we will help where we can. Mm. Okay, but what was important uh, is for us to ease the load was for him to be transparent. Mm. I think honestly, honesty was important. So he came clean and he said, um, here and there, you know, we will. Even while, while you were married in the beginning, while we were married, there was still there was stuff that you did, but nothing you were forced to do or mm -hmm. obliged to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. There was nothing forced upon us. We did what we wanted to do where we saw the gap. And where you could. Yeah, where we, where we could. Um, helping and the sister who was at school yet, uh, school that time, we discussed things. Mm -hmm. And when, we, when I came in, it was made clear that, you know, you don't ask your brother, or you don't, my sisters can't ask me, mm. you know, they must via him. But that's the thing, who came up with that rule? Because you're saying that it was made clear that no one must ask, meaning we, you we, can't come and ask me, or some, or Tando yeah. can't come and ask yeah. me yeah. for money, she must ask Kevin. Kevin. Yes. 
Mm. Yes. Because you are trying to build a relationship mm. with these people. You don't know them. Mm. But all the time when things they come via the brother mm. or via the sister, mm. it will um cause conflict. Yeah. You know? So I learned from my mother because at home we were girls only. Mm. I saw how she treated um the the sons in laws mm. my mother would never call me and ask me for anything but she would call uh daddy mm. nico to come and do this and that um you know not me even my sisters will not call me they will call him you know and ask for something and whose responsibility is it to teach that behavior it's both of you's responsibility mm. you you tell your family that i'm no longer by myself you tell your own family because if if i'm going to say i'll be seen as nagging or being nosy mm. if i would say to my in-laws listen here your brother is married okay whatever you want from him you must Ask tell me, me. Mm. you know mm. it will cause more conflict mm. so it's better for the, him to say whatever you want i don't want to be back and forth mm. you know so directly ask bully bully will discuss it with me it makes things easy mm. because nobody will hate bully and it's because an uncomfortable decision it though. is it is it is a choice to me you know for for, for it, especially if you imagine imagine if tando will come to you and say bully i need or oh, let me say sabi mm. um bully i need money for a b c d and as much as you know you have money mm. you can give a sabi from your carry money mm. you know as much as he has money but by the time that kevin realizes that you've been giving uh, sabelo money for school fees because you're helping us or whatever mm. um it won't go well mm. you know so it's easy from the onset to say kevin my responsibilities are your family mm. and vice versa That's but right. your responsibility is to tell them or talk to them that they need to recognize me. Mm. And because of the frequency of issues that will arise, eventually people will be at ease mm. in talking to you. What if you find yourself in a position where um you you know there are people who maybe when you get married, you know, sometimes when you get married you don't understand the world you're entering in and the people that Maybe financially needs still need some assistance. Let's say for whatever reason, Kevin and I have called you and Daddy or whoever the case may be, and um, no, can you help us pay rent for whatever case you know? Or sometimes you'll find that your parents that leave a home, maybe not say leave, but have an extra home still mm-hmm. theirs mm-hmm. in essence, still your home in mm-hmm. essence, um, but have an extra home, and they're like, ah, you can move into it. But the problem arises is that. Uh, or the problem with that is that the parents now still feel like they can have an opinion because of what they are adding into um their relationship because they are helping out mm-hmm. they feel like they can now have an opinion is that right or wrong it's wrong whether their that opinion comes from um your husband or the wife the wife side it's wrong it's wrong mm-hmm. um When you help me out, mm. I'm not buying you, you mm. know, and I cannot therefore have an upper hand because I'm helping you, mm. you know. It, it's it's wrong to use that, that um, you will always interfere and I can't say, mom, I can't do that today uh, because I already have a plan. Just because Then you will say, uh, yeah, but, it, but I'm helping you, mm. you know, you'd be out on the road if I, I I didn't give you my house mm. you know so you, it cannot be done like that so if if I agree to help you guys it must be stated clearly i'm helping you based on apcd that i see mm. for this period mm. you know for this period mm. and it cannot be forever okay and also even if your parents leave you a house mm. you need to be aware of so many things that you cannot 101% neglect the house mm. because it's not your house mm. that is a wrong attitude That's wrong, yeah. okay 
and it must be cleaned, it must be painted, you know, you must and be taken care. Yeah, must take care. Mm. When we were staying in Mzimshope, we were taking care of Mzimshope as it's our house. Mm. You know, we painted, we changed the curtains, whatever changes we made because we were there, mm. you know. Um, it, it was not his mom's home, mm. you know. Mm. That attitude, when you go into a relationship or in a marriage, it has to be clear. Mm. It's not bubo, mm. it's a kaya, mm. you know. And, and then when you do things together, I think it will help. So if, if you are going to allow the parent, whether it's the mother or a father, to dictate to you because they're giving money, mm. then you don't have a... Um, a correct relationship. But how do you then manage that situation? Because there are people that, yes, maybe you are helping. Maybe you did leave us the home. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, we used to stay. And, you know, we are taking care of it, but you feel like I... Anytime no. I can, you guys can do this. Or can my friend come and park there? Because in essence, that was your home in general. But they are now making plans for a place where... I can, I'm now calling home. How do you balance that? Because sometimes you don't want to step on anyone's toes. Uh, but it's just because of the hand that some parents have that they feel like, I I don't need to ask, Pell. I'm helping. And it's a reality that, sometimes. Yeah, and that means you didn't have, um, you didn't sit down and have rules. That, yes, ma, you are moving to Vita and you're leaving me this house a eh, to be so eh, to, mm. you know. And I will take care of it. However, your children, meaning my sisters, cannot come at any given time mm. without telling me that they want to come sleep over mm. and then send kids, their kids, or do stuff, you know, deliver their mm. whatever, mm. as if it's a storage house, mm. you know. They need to respect the agreement that we have. Mm. So I think it's important for you to talk about issues before. Mm. Because the danger is, we see in these things that um, mom and dad, they've moved on, they leave the house with us. Mm. They Sometimes they even change the ownership to you. Mm. But because it was never discussed in the open, mm. other siblings, they think, Gusekai, mm. you know? Understood, yeah. So it's important to be transparent and discuss some of these things beforehand mm. and not give yourself or find yourself having issues you know, we were at Maui's house for that period. None of the siblings would just rock up and open the fridge <laughs> and eat anything because what's in there is no it's longer Maui's. Mm, it's for everyone. Or you those standing staying in the house. Yeah. Mm. It's just no longer Maui's. Mm. But when you come in, when you respect me, you say, oh, you know, when I'm hungry, mm. can I have something? I have you don't just say, mm. that fridge is not Maui's fridge. Mm. You know, so some of these things must be discussed. Mm. Or oh, opinionated okay. in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do if the in-laws are very direct in terms of um, attacking you, attacking what you do, constantly complaining um, that you're not good enough for my child or you're not doing things right because sometimes it seems like we only see it on movies but sometimes it's true that for whatever reason you always find in-laws that are uh, overbearing and almost impossible and I know that they, they could be people in that situation um, how do they deal with that an overbearing in-law Summer, you know, it's it's never nothing is ever good enough. Whether they help in here, I come to the house, I help, I can even wash dishes, Michelle Boon, Miss Bonnet, but it's it's not enough. But first I'll ask you, what are you doing there? Because they will have that opinion if you're staying with them. Maybe not even staying. You know, sometimes there are people who at every chance they get. Okay. There are two families here. One a family that respects, they know their boundaries. The other one, they don't know their boundaries. Mm. Those are the people who interfere. Mm. Um, those who do not know their boundaries. This is your child's home, but you cannot come to my house mm. because I'm another woman mm. and tell me, why didn't you paint green? <laughs> You know, mm. so then 
you, you, you can talk about and suggest something, mm. but the manner in which you will do it, it will tell me that you are undermining me and you are not respecting me, mm. you know? You can come to me and say, oh, maybe I was ironing and say, let me help you to iron. Mm. And the way I unfold things, mm. you will see that I'm showing you something mm. without many ways. Mm. But if I'm not going to be good enough for your son, I'll, I'll make an example. We were, um, I think it was Dada's funeral. So we are preparing with my sister-in-laws. We prepared everything. It was ready. And one of the aunts decided to undo what we had agreed upon. Mm. When we walked in, she now speaks of um, I looked at her and I said to myself, it's not for me to respond to that. Mm. It was not for me. I went to my mother-in-law and I said, Mary, uh, I'm going to take Inyama and go because we marinated it mm. in fryer. I think it was a tombstone or so. Mm. I didn't respond to that. Mm. Um, the next time, I realized that, okay, when there are, and it was Mbuli's, Mbulelo's, your, your uncle's funeral, mm. when the old ladies, old women, are sitting in one room, mm. they negatively influence one another. Mm in terms of how they treat their daughter-in-laws. Mm. So in the morning, I've asked them for tea. The next day, I bring tea. Now I know, you said you coffee, mm. you da, da, da. Mm. When I walk in, that very auntie, and this punga and tona. It's another issue. Then I realized, Ooh, okay, for me to be okay, mm. I will let kids serve them. Mm. I will prepare things in the kitchen, but I will not. Mm. You see, I have already avoided mm. that because my mother-in-law doesn't treat me like that. that. But it's an extended person who thinks she's got the right mm. over me. But what if it's a, it's a, it's a mother-in-law or so, father-in-law? So if it is a mother-in-law, your husband needs to come in mm. and say, like my husband did, mm. you know, and, and draw a line that this is my wife. Mm. You know, when he said that, that this is my wife, it made me to respect him and love him more for standing up for me. Mm. Okay. Because there is nothing you can do to please a person who is not willing to be pleased. Mm. You know, you can clean and everything and, and buy everything. groceries and do everything but if they're not willing to be pleased mm. you will always have um like negative feedback mm. of anything that you touch mm. you know so i think it is important for your husband to come in and show everybody that the line is drawn here mm. but it works both ways mm. my father did that with his um family Abu Mamgane and all that, whenever they saw my mother walking in, they would have lots of duties, you know, for her to clean up my tomb, to all these funny things. Mm. Up until my father said, uh-uh, uh, -uh, uh, -uh. Mm. not at her age. Mm. This is my wife. Mm. I said, mm. and called her, sit here. Mm. Kids will do that. Or the younger ones will do that not you at this age. Mm. So it is important for our partners to know when to say no mm. and stand for you. Not to cover you when you are lazy mm. or when you are silly. Mm. Because we, as Abu Mako Dinati, we are silly. Mm. We go there and tell Abu Mama Zala, now Buzela Abu you know, it is wrong. It is wrong. So we need to, to be fair to our partners we need our partners to be fair on us mm. and say, you know what, um, she's willing to learn. Treat her with kindness. Mm. Treat her like your own. Mm. Because he knows how the siblings were treated. But in the chances of those who have 
like da- a, maybe a daddy's girl, maybe um, a person who's being overbearing, it, it, the or the part the person who's being overbearing, for example, maybe if it was daddy, and I say I'm daddy's girl versus Kevin and he's a mommy's boy, for example. What mm-hmm. if he just feels like yo? But this is my parent that I can't tell them what to do. Like I feel like I'm stuck. I I can't. Mm. Is there no such? There's no such. Man, pull up your socks. You are not disrespecting your parent, mm. but you're saying, "Ma, I love you. I love her." Mm. And you played a different and an important role in my life. She is playing a different and important role. I cannot say I love you equally because mm. you are not equal. Sure. You are not playing the same role. Mm. He has to say, "Ma, I love you as my mother." You've done a lot for me that nobody could have done, mm. but this is my wife. Mm. You know, um, I don't want you to treat her any different than you treated my my sister. Mm. He has to say that. Addressing issues when you realize that no man, there's a particular problem I have. Well, this is what I don't like. Uh, you as a me as an uh, as who, for lack of a better word, my God, someone who got married into the family. Mm-hmm. Is it true that I should not address issues directly with the mom? Must I rather get Kevin to do it? Let's say I have an issue with his mom or his dad, and something's not sitting right. Do I, I should I not address it, or should Kevin do it? I think you must have. Uh, you must be present when those issues are addressed. Mm. You must be present um, because if he's not, it will be your word against the yes. theirs. Mm. And he, it might be taken that whatever is happening, you created it. Mm. So when he's there, I think it is important. Mm. You know, um, I know when we first addressed such issues, because sometimes they don't know how you would respond. Mm. You know, they might want to talk to you about certain uh, matters, whatever that might have happened in the family, but they don't know you mm. and how you would respond, you know. Um, it's better for them to maybe engage with the brother. But on other occasions, the brother is a lion. Mm. They can't approach him, mm. you know. So other things, they get dragged unnecessary because they can't approach him, mm. you know. But when you do hear of some things, you need to say, love, you are here. I need us to sort out this. Mm. But he must be present mm. so that both sides can be given an opportunity, a fair opportunity. Mm. You know, I, I had that opportunity. Um, and I'm blessed to say with, with Udedi, when tough situation presented itself, he was able to sit in, call a meeting, and issues were corrected. Mm. You know, um, my mother-in-law came out, you know, to say, okay, I might have over-exaggerated, mm. I might have uh, misunderstood what mm. was happening, but this was my issue, mm. you know. Um, and she understood when you, when you did it, you said, um, things cannot happen like this. What else I'm here and nobody approached me. Mm. You know, if you, you didn't know how to approach Magwen, you should have at least called me mm. than to let things go on and on behind our back, mm. not knowing, you know. So to simplify matters, you need to, to approach that person. But I think it is important, Mbuli, to understand that, that there is no Mama Zala who is perfect. Mm. I've learned from my mother. Like I said, we are girls only. So he had seven boys coming into the house. Mm. He, she treated our husband like her own mm. sons. My father as well. Mm. You know, our husbands, they, they never wore each jersey or a jacket, never the kind. Mm. They would wear shorts and all that they were free because they were sons. Mm. Yeah? To a point that um, when my parents, both parents passed away, the person who initiated the tombstone was my husband mm. because of the relationship that we had. Mm. It's important for us as a mamazana. I mean, I've 
copied a lot that my mother did. And I can see even your daddy. Mm. He's got a, a good relationship with his son-in-laws, mm -hmm. you know, um, where they can talk anyhow. They know their boundaries, but they can talk and approach him for anything. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same as me. Mm -hmm. But I've learned from my mother that if you love and respect people who are coming to your home, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I loved when... Daddy told me years after that he doesn't eat to Madame Hodu. Mm -hmm. But when he came to my to, to my home, my mom's home, uh, one day I was not there. Mm. <clears throat> so while waiting for me, my mom dished up Madame Hodu for him. Mm. And he ate. <laughs> Comes to <Japan>. bed. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ate. He didn't say anything. He ate. Uh, and, you know, because he, you know, Daddy, my father used to call him uh, Shimi. Why Shimi? Uh, eh? Why Shimi? Like, Shimi is like... Um, Shimon or something. No, no, my son. Yeah. Yeah. Shimi, you know. Um, and he would fight before we got married that he mustn't leave late. Mm -hmm. But when, when he gets home, he must phone me to make sure that he's... He's mm. okay, he's mm. safe, a okay, guy, because he knew which is coming from him, and he's t using public transport. Mm. And he's, he would say, when he gets there, he must just ring the phone twice, mm. then we will know it's him. You don't have to talk anymore. Mm. You know, those are the parents that I've learned from. Mm. You know, you embrace the very person who is coming into your home and love them and show love, mm. you know, and that helped. Mm. That helped because he is doing the same thing. Yeah. You know, he's not pushing. But let me tell you something. If you can come teary tomorrow <laughs> and say, this is what Kevin did. Mm. It's late. Yeah. Yeah. But as a mother, mm. I need to say, no bully. You cannot talk to your daddy about such things mm. because there is a thin line. As much as he loves them, but he loves his daughter more, mm. you know? So, um, but my role is whatever happens between you and your husband, my role is to make sure that you, you fix things. Mm. Even before they spill over, you need to fix things. You need to learn and talk about things. Mm. I've seen my father doing the same thing, that Wade concerned his kids. Mm. He would walk in if I'm sick. He would walk in and do my hair, massage my head, mm. make me, not ask me if I took tablets, mm. make me bring tablets and give it to me to drink, mm. you know. So it is important to protect your partner mm. from your family. Mm. The important people, for me in my life, it was my mother-in-law, it was my father-in-law, mm. you know. Yes, I related very well um, when we started the, the relationship with my, my with the siblings, Nico's siblings, we related very well. And things do change here and there, mm. but you can, they can be fixed, mm. you know. Then that's where you need to speak peace mm. to some of the things and speak truth, mm. you know. It might not be easy at some point, but speak the truth. And um, you are not creating monsters in any relationship, but it is important that you are going to someone else's home mm. the way they used to do things and you are coming with a foreign attitude. Mm. There are things that you need to drop, you know, and also, I mean, right now you are married, you have your own house. If you go visit Kevin's house, um, they only see you for an hour, mm. it's an hour. Mm. And if they could have some family gathering, it's only for that day, mm. you know? So there are things that you can do away with and say it's only for this time. And you can just be with it. Yeah. Okay. Done. <laughs> yeah, I think we are done. The, what a mouthful, but a, um, a good learning mouthful. Uh, thank you so much guys for watching as you know it's always really nice to interact with you so you're more than welcome to comment down in the comment section below 
um, we're gonna give mommy a break so we don't know when she'll be back uh, but yeah I think we'll still be able I'll still be able to run to her and say mom someone might need your help or comment in this situation so yeah comment below I hope that you guys enjoyed this one thank you so much for tuning in thank you for so much for subscribing and yeah till next time don't forget to tell your friend to tell their friend to tell their friend too watch <laughs> like comment like and comment like comment and subscribe there we go <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys bye, <laughs> bye.